Darkness 2, what we're doing is we're taking all the things that we loved about Darkness 1, things like, you know, the great story, uh, the light and dark gameplay, and we're expanding on those things. We're, um, we're really proud of, uh, in terms of changes over the game, um, our up close and personal combat style, our graphic noir art style, and our interactive version of storytelling. The uh, game takes place two years after the events of the first game. Jackie is now the dawn of the Estacado family, and uh, yeah, that's where we were left off. We had big shoes to fill from Darkness 1. Everyone loved that game. It was a fantastic game. So we really started looking at the comic books in the first game when, when we started developing Darkness 2. Yeah, we looked at the first game and we said, you know, what are the places where we can, we can run? What, what can we build on? And the challenge was looking at the demon arms, we thought there's the potential for, I mean, they're awesome looking, vicious things. And the first game kind of had them used in a stealth capacity and then maybe a little bit of puzzle solving. And we just said, you know what? Let's throw that part out and let's rebuild this and let, let's make it about close combat, close personal combat that you use those demon arms all the time. You know, most shooters you're fighting from 20, 30 meters away, you're pixel hunting enemies, you're using your, you know, your M4 or what have you. Darkness 2, we have all the guns, they're awesome, but we also have these demon arms. You have your grab demon arm on the left that you use your left bumper with and we have the slash demon arm on the right with your right bumper. So you can use your guns with the triggers and your demon arms all at the same time while you're controlling your character and while you're controlling your camera. And that allows you this great fluidity of combat where you can rush into an encounter and deal with enemies any way you want and it's all at your fingertips. There's no selecting what demon arm you want to use for any given encounter. They're always there for you. You've got this guy who's got demon arms that have teeth. He's ripping things apart at close range. We couldn't shy away from the blood and gore. Um, so it's all through the game, but I mean, I think it's appropriate. We definitely do have destructible elements in our environments. We try and really focus that towards the gameplay, the, the up close personal combat that we're trying to hit. I think that we have an incredibly engaging story that I can't wait to share with players. It's, it's above and beyond what you see in most shooters of this magnitude. Most people see these kind of gory, violent shooters and they don't expect much of a story. Uh, we have a big surprise for them. We have a great story that takes what Starbreeze and Darkness 1 and builds on it.